Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the broadcast today. The Cleveland Foundation hosts its 2012 African American Philanthropy Summit on Saturday, April the 21st. Director of Gift Planning and Giving, Terry Eason, joins me this morning, along with attorney Teresa Metcalf Beasley of Calfee, Halter, and Griswold to talk more about this upcoming event. Then we will hear from Ann Weinzimmer and John Lynch. They'll tell us about the annual Kentucky Derby Party hosted by the West Side Ecumenical Ministry. And later on the broadcast, we'll hear from the Regional Vice President, East Central Division of the American Cancer Society, Dave Grams, and Board President Donald Graham. They'll talk about the programs and software, uh, services, I should say, offered there. Good morning again. I'm Leon Bibb. This is Kaleidoscope, and so we begin. Beginning right now with Terry Eason, who's Director of Gift Planning for the Cleveland Foundation, and Teresa Metcalf Beasley, who's an attorney with Calfee, Halter, and Griswold, and they're really here talking about the African American Philanthropy Summit, which is going to be coming up on April the 21st. Yes. Good to have you both with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. Terry, let's begin with you. You're Director of Gift Planning for the Cleveland Foundation. What is this, this African American Philanthropy Summit? Well, actually, it is a wonderful opportunity to engage our community. Our community, uh, African American Committee, has decided to host our second biennial philanthropy summit where we will be focusing on giving circles. We're excited because we will not only be focusing on bringing in individuals, but we will be also engaging organizations, membership organizations, young adults, and we are just thrilled that we're going to have an opportunity to do this. Okay, we're going to get a little deeper into that in a second. I want to ask you about these giving circles, that, that, that concept. Uh, Teresa Metcalf. Beasley, you're involved with this now. You're one of the chairpersons on this? I am the chairperson of the African American um, Philanthropy Committee. Mm -hmm. The committee's been in existence since about 1993, and the purpose of the committee is to educate um, the community on philanthropy, the African American community, and to support the Cleveland Foundation's mission. On giving. On giving. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about that. To talk about the importance of giving. When we talk about philanthropy, that, that's a $2 word. Yes. Now, but that means giving to the community. Tell me about the concept of that. It's really having an opportunity to, in particular for this particular uh, event, to pull dollars together and to identify how you can establish a legacy. And at the uh, Cleveland Foundation in particular, our goal is really to be a resource to help individuals identify how they can best do this. Mm -hmm. And so in this particular instance, we will be providing an overview. We will have an opportunity to provide educational uh, seminars where individuals will learn all the different tools that are available. And then we will have the opportunity to bring in a keynote speaker who will be talking about the importance of giving, not only um, as an individual, but, but also how you can support your community long term. Yeah. Uh, 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 Teresa, she mentioned giving circles a little bit. Mm -hmm. the giving circles, the gift of giving. What's a giving circle? A giving is circles when a group of individuals collectively pull their resources to give back to the community. A lot of people feel that you have to have a lot of money to give back. What we're educating the community about is you can pull those resources and still make an impact. You might have 25 people in a giving circle. It could be composed of a group of sorority members, book club members, family members, $250 annually. Um, could be a required amount, mm -hmm. and you can make a significant impact in giving to grassroots organizations and helping the community. Now, this event is going to be at the Corporate College East on uh, Richmond Road. That's 4400 Richmond Road, Warrensville Heights. Saturday, April the 21st, starts at 8 o'clock in the morning and goes until 1 o'clock in, in, uh, in the afternoon. I'm holding a little brochure, and maybe uh, we, if I hold this steady, we can get a shot. Tell me about what's going to happen at this event. Well, again, we'll have an opening session. We're going to have professionals such as a gentleman by the name of Daryl Lester, who is the principal of Hindsight uh, Financial. We will also talk about how we can bring in individuals such as Glenda Bridgeforth, uh -huh. who is our keynote speaker, and she also is the Charter One Good Banking is Good Citizen keynote speaker. She'll be talking about how you can really uh, 
channel your energies to support your community. We also are going to have Valeda Fulward, who is also a very uh, renowned author who wrote a book called Giving Back, a Tribute to the Generation of African American Philanthropists. And so through all of this, we'll be working to really provide information to the participants so they can understand all the tools that are available and how they can utilize giving circles as a true vehicle to help their community in the future. Now, now, now uh, 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 Teresa, who can come to this event? Who is this event open to? The event is open to everyone. We actually, in particular, we have a component for our young adults mm -hmm. because philanthropy starts at any age. You don't have to be older, established, but any age. So we ha it's open for individuals, family, families, organizations, and our youth. Mm -hmm. Yes. I was at a, at a dinner meeting just last night, and the Cleveland Foundation came up. We talked about the Cleveland Foundation mm -hmm. because one of the organizations I belong to is always putting money into the Cleveland mm -hmm. Foundation. How vital is that? And the, what does the Cleveland Foundation do? How do you take that money and make sure that mm -hmm. money gets to all of these worthwhile organizations? Well, it's really having the conversation with individuals to understand what type of impact they want to make. How do we uh, provide specific instruments? So many times donors identify what we call a donor advised fund and that is a, a vehicle where they can put dollars in place and pretty much grant to all the various charities uh, of, that support the specific causes. And then there's others who are looking at establishing a gift today to give right. in the future through mm -hmm. a planned gift. Again, with the giving circle, the reason why this is so wonderful is because now individuals are coming together with various dollars and they'll pull and then they'll have an educational component. They will also identify ways in which they'll be able to support whatever efforts they'd like to do in the future. And you know, we are so thrilled because we have so many great supporters. Our honorary chairs, our Ina Jo Chappelle, who's a, uh, a partner at Alma Burn. We have Margot Copeland, who we know people. well, yeah. as well as Steve Mentor. Yeah. It's going to be a big event, right, uh, Teresa? It's going to be a big event there at, uh, at community colleges uh, at the, uh, hold on my at notes here, Corporate College, College East, Corporate College East on Richmond Road in Warrensville Heights. And once again, it is going to be uh, Saturday, April the 21st starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, and I think people can uh, register and by going online. They can go to www.clevelandfoundation.org, or they can call 1-877-554-5054. Registration up to April 2nd is $30. Young adults mm -hmm. is $20, mm -hmm. $20, and we are really looking forward to seeing the everyone. The numbers are at the bottom of the yes. screen. While we've been talking about it, there the numbers are. You can make a phone call, or you can go to the website. So Thank you so much for being on the broadcast. You'll be there. I will be there, absolutely. It'll a wonderful event too. And Thank you very much. Well. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you much. Pleasure. My mm -hmm. pleasure. My pleasure. We're going to take a break right now. I'll be right back. This is Kaleidoscope after this. Welcome back to more of Kaleidoscope today. The Westside Ecumenical Ministry hosts its annual Kentucky Derby Party Saturday, May the 5th. This annual event raises money for the organization's food centers, which feed more than 43,000 people. Party Chair Ann Weinzimmer and John Lynch of the center itself for children and families will tell us how you can help in all of this. Good to have you with us, Ann Weinzimmer, Chair of the Kentucky Derby Party, and John Lynch, Volunteer Engagement Specialist, Center for Families and Children. Good to have you with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah. John, what's the mission of the Westside Ecumenical Ministry, sometimes called WESM? Yes, uh, WESM is now part of the Center for Families and Children, and the Center for Families and Children, our purpose is to help as many people as possible become healthy, educated, independent, and connected, and we do this through the direct service that we provide our clients. There is a lot of work to be done out there, isn't it, to help people in this regard? Absolutely, and that is why um, the Westside Ecumenical Ministry and the Center for Families and Children decided to join together. We did this back in April of 2011, mm -hmm. and we wanted to join together to increase our impact on the community yeah. by building upon our strengths and making ourselves more efficient overall. And we knew that we could do so much more together than we could as separate agencies, and so now as a result of this affiliation, we now have 18 locations throughout Greater Cleveland, and primary focus areas of early childhood education, food centers, behavioral health care, 
workforce development and preventative services for at-risk youth. And to do that, of course, you need money to do that. So absolutely. When, whatever, that's why we've got great we fundraisers. Right, well, absolutely. Let's talk of fundraiser. Ann Weinzimmer is chair of the Kentucky Derby Party. Yes. Uh, tell me about this Kentucky Derby Party sure. idea. This is uh, the 12th year we've done this event, and I think this is maybe the fifth year I've been the chair of it. It's very fun. We watch the race on the big screen at Great Lakes. We have mint juleps. We have horse betting. We've got a silent auction. It's a really Really fun, fast-paced environment. If you're not going to the Derby itself, this is where you've got to be. So if you can't get to Louisville to see the running of the roses, then the, you the come Kentucky, to Great Lakes. Then co come to Great Lakes Brewery. Right. And that, that's going to be on Saturday, May the 5th, right? Yes. What 4 time? to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. The race is about 6 o'clock, so we've got a couple couple hours before where people just kind of mingle, have a few cocktails. We do the race on the big screen, and then we do our auction and reverse raffle. Because it's at the Great Lakes Brewery on the west side of Cleveland, I'll bet you can get a beer there. There's going to be a lot of beer there, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's all about. Now, how can people get, get involved? Now, you, th this money is used by your organization. This helps you fund the kind of programs that you've just been talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. These, uh, these food centers, they are among the largest distributors of food to families in need in our community. Uh, it's part of the hunger network of Greater Cleveland. Now, our three food centers serve approximately 2,000 families every single month. Uh, families in need can come to our food center for uh, a hot meal and an emergency three to five day supply of food from the pantry and do you do you want people for you, you of course you want the, the public to participate in this now can people just show up or what's the what's the procedure to get in well we actually sell out every year mm -hmm. so people have to buy tickets in advance they can go to our website wesem.org wsem.org or they can call John John your direct dial I've got a phone number here okay. on the screen John is that it 432-7200 absolutely yeah just call and ask for John Lynch that's you and if we call 432-7200 uh, we can get we can get in on, on, on the tickets uh, for, for this wonderful fundraiser or go to WSEM.org, WSEM.org, and which means West Side Ecumenical Ministry, WSEM.org. More information on everything we're, we're talking about. This is vital for you to be, in, to, to be involved in this. You're a volunteer specialist yes. with this. Why are you involved? Well, I've been involved with, uh, with Wesom since 2003. I started serving meals at the food pantry and then got involved in fundraisers, and it's just a, it's a great way to give back in the community. Um, I've been very blessed, and I like to help out others in the community that are not as blessed as I am. So, that, that and is this is this is one way to do it. Um, you know, what's unique about the Western Food Centers? Why I really like being involved with them is because we don't just give a handout of food. When people come in for food, there's there's usually a reason why they're coming in for food. It's not just that they need a bag of food or a hot meal. And so what Wesson does is we offer outreach services and we connect them to some of the other center services, counseling solutions, mental health services, so that we can really get to the root of the problem and, and help the people. This event is going to be Saturday, May the 5th. It starts at 4 o'clock. The running of the roses, the race itself, is around 6 o'clock, I think. Well, but the party starts at 4 o'clock and will go until 8 o'clock that evening. It's going to be at the Great Lakes Brewery Tasting Room, which is at Carroll and West 26th Street. If you can find West 25th Street and 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 and, and Lorraine, you're you're right you're right on the corner. You're right on the corner. If you can find Sorry, Dave's you. supermarket, well, you're right there, <laughs> and you're right there if you can find the big supermarket there. But it is will be at the Great Lakes Brewery Tasting Room, Carroll and West 25th, 26th Street. Carroll and West 26th Street, Leon, and the phone number is 432-7200, as you see at the bottom of the screen, or go to WESEM, WSEM.org, for more information on everything. It'll be a lot of fun. Yes, it will. Hope and to see you there. And you'll see a good horse race at the same. <laughs> Absolutely. Same time. And have a beer, too, along yes. the way. Good to have you both with us. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Leon. Thank you so much. We wish you well. Thanks. Saturday, May 5th, at the Great Lakes Brewery Tasting Room. I'm going to take a break in a moment. I'll be right back. We'll talk about the American Cancer Society with what's going on with it after this. Good to have you with us on Kaleidoscope again today. The American Cancer Society offers a variety of programs and services to the public. Regional Vice President, East Central Division, Dave Grams, and Board President Donald Graham are here to talk about these programs and tell us about the annual fundraising events. Dave Graham sitting next to me, Donald Graham's on the outside. We got Dave and Donald. Yes. Sounds like a, like a vaudeville too. A good one, no doubt. No Very doubt. good. Uh, let's begin with you, Dave. You're the Regional Vice President here. What's the mission of the American Cancer society sure well the American Cancer Society is uh, working very hard every day to help people uh, stay well mm -hmm. help people get well to find cures and to fight back we help people stay well 
by uh, promoting uh, healthy lifestyles, making appropriate choices around tobacco, uh, nutrition, physical activity. Uh, we also support uh, screening uh, in the community so that cancer can be detected at its earliest, most treatable stage uh, as well. Uh, we help people get well uh, when they, if they've been touched by cancer. Uh, we have uh, actually the, the nation's only 24-hour uh, toll-free uh, line uh, where someone can speak to a uh, trained cancer information specialist uh, 24 by 7 by 365. You might as well give us that number right now. Sure, mm -hmm. sure. Uh, that number is 800 uh, ACS or 227 2345. Again, 800 227 2345. And anybody can talk. We've got that number on the screen right now. Thank you very much, Control Room, for getting that on so quickly. Uh, let's talk to Donald uh, uh, as well. You've got a bunch of programs and services. I mean, these are all free to the public, yes. right? Where yes. we talk about where we right. talk about cancer and trying to guard as much as we can against cancer, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of programs. We have one that's, that's going to be upcoming here May 12th is the uh, Breast Drives Walk. It's going to be downtown. Every year, my wife and I participate, and it's like just a real leisurely walk for about uh, three or four miles. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hold up a little brochure right here, we, and we talk about the, these kinds of things keep the awareness of the, that, that we're making strides yes. uh, in cancer, that they keep the awareness going, don't they? Yes, so, most so, definitely. So, so, so that's vital, and, right. and uh, we see some of, the, some of the people who are sponsoring, some of the people who are sponsoring that, that as well right there. Uh, how can the public continue to help fight in the, in the fight against cancer? Well, uh, we, we offer uh, many opportunities for the public to be able to uh, fight back against the, the disease. Uh, we, we've been talking about our Making Strides Against Breast Cancer event. We, we anticipate thousands of uh, breast cancer survivors, caregivers, uh, and, and all those who've been touched by breast cancer to come out and, and join us on that day, celebrate survivorship, remember those who may have been lost. Uh, in addition, we have events uh, called Relay for Life that happen uh, really between between April all the way through July, where uh, 37 different opportunities in communities throughout Northeast Ohio to come together and uh, again uh, celebrate that survivorship and and uh, you know celebrate the the caregivers who uh, make such an important uh, contribution. We'll to give them. this another plug too. That making strides to end breast cancer we were just talking about. It's going to be Saturday, May 12th. It's a three-mile walk and it starts at Cleveland Brown Stadium. So yes. it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. Donald, let's talk a little bit about the Cleveland Hope Lodge. What okay. is the Cleveland Hope Lodge? Well, the Cleveland Hope Lodge has been around for quite some time. It's up in the University Circle area. And what we do is we provide housing for people who may come in to uh, the Cleveland area where their loved ones are having uh, some type of cancer surgery mm -hmm. at the various hospitals. And it's a very low cost, economical uh, stay. And if somebody needs over an overnight stay because yes. they are traveling in, into the city, yes. they can stay at the Cleveland Hope Lodge. Yes. You're located right there in University Circle? It's in University yes. Circle. Mm -hmm. you know, they have the very nice rooms, uh, kitchens, and plus you're there with other people who are experiencing uh, cancer or their mm -hmm. loved ones experiencing cancer. So you're, you're with a so, so the people there understand yes. what's going on and the people yes. next door are dealing yes. with the same kinds of issues that you may be dealing with yes. and perhaps you can even Most help definitely. each other along the way. That's yes. in University Circle. Yes, sir. Been there for years, you were telling me. Yes. Well, that's great. And people can get more information by calling? Uh, calling the, the same the same, same number, number. the same number of 800 ACS 2345 or 800 227 2345 uh, it is a toll free number yes uh, we're making inroads aren't we dave on cancer absolutely yeah uh, survival rates continue to increase uh, today uh, five year survival rates for uh, cancer in an initial diagnosis well over 68% uh, survival rates in addition uh, you know, the progress that we've made in, in with very specific cancers, breast cancer, caught in its earliest stages, over 98% curable mm -hmm. uh, when, it's, when it's caught and, and localized uh, through mammography. In our, in our final 30 seconds, Donald, the goal is to keep people healthy, to get them to Stay eat healthy, well. yeah. healthy lifestyles, yes. cut out smoking. Yes. If we can do that, <laughs> we can really save some lives. I agree. Those kinds of things, and see a doctor regularly for yes. prostate examinations. Get your checkups. All, all those kinds of things are vital.
Yes, okay. most definitely. Well, okay, we appreciate your, your both being on the broadcast. Of course, we have you back periodically to continue talking about this. But their big event coming up is Saturday, May 12th. That's a three-mile walk. It starts at the Cleveland Brown Stadium. It is a fundraiser to benefit the American Cancer Society and its a goal of finding cures for cancer and it's used, needing the research money. So all of that uh, is vital to what we're talking about. And the Cleveland Hope Lodge, I like the idea yes. of that. Just make a phone call. Yes. Okay, 800-ACS-2345. I'm going to take a break. I appreciate your gentleman being on the broadcast. I'll be right back in just a moment. Thank you. Here now is Marsha Mockaby, president of the Urban League, who always helps us on the broadcast, bringing wise commentary. <laughs> Hi, Leon. How hey, are you? I'm okay, Marsha. You're doing well, I know. I'm doing well. Doing well, thank you. I guess uh, my wise comment for today is we would like to see everybody on Saturday, April 28th, at the Urban League's celebration in black and white. Mm -hmm. uh, it is backed by popular demand. Many people in the community have asked us to bring this event back. It's been our signature yeah. e fundraising event over the years. And uh, we're finally at the place now where we thought this would be the year in our 95th anniversary year to bring it back. So it's going to be a lot of little music there. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, an yes. evening of dining and dancing. Yes. And uh, uh, a line dancing, ballroom dancing. It's black tie Saturday, April the 25th. And it's going to be... 28th. Uh, 28th. Mm -hmm. uh, put on my glasses, Leon. Okay. Saturday, April the 28th, <laughs> 6 o'clock at the Manor Center Complex yes. that's on Rockwell Drive in Euclid. Yes, yeah. yes, mm -hmm. and it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Retrospect, who is a local group, is going to be doing some Motown review oh, kinds of things. Oh, you touched my, touch my heart. <laughs> yes, You know, I should have been one of the temptations, I know. but they I didn't call. They didn't call me, but <laughs> next time. Maybe. Yeah, I could just okay. see, I could see you in the temptations, <laughs> but uh, it's going to be great fun, and we have a lot of surprises that evening. Congressman Lewis Stokes is our uh, 95 fifth anniversary mm -hmm. honorary chair mm -hmm. and our sponsors for the event are New Horizons Baking Company, RPM, Cleveland Clinic, and I just got word we have a couple more sponsors lined up who are yeah. confirming today. And so people can excited. get and people can buy their tickets now, right? Yes, they can buy their tickets. They can actually purchase them online mm -hmm. uh, if they like and uh, we have all kinds of options to make it as easy as possible. Can they go to uh, Urban League's uh, website? Yes. UL, UL, UL Cleveland, right? ULCleveland.org, that's correct. UL Cleveland. And the mm -hmm. tickets are $195 a piece. Yes. But it, you get a so much. Oh, absolutely. And what I like about it is mm -hmm. no, n nothing personal. There's not a lot of speeches. That's it's right. All good music. <laughs> That's okay. right. That's not good. a lot of speeches at this event. <laughs> April the 28th. We got to go. Bye bye. Thank you. Kaleidoscope, a weekly public affairs program brought to you in partnership with the Urban League of Greater Cleveland, Kaleidoscope Magazine, and News Channel 5.